there, there we go, muskrat shelter, That's where I stayed last night. It poured pretty good, I don't know, probably a little after 9 o'clock on. It started just pouring off and on. There's Chris in the shelter. Hi, Chris. Um, but yeah, nice little shelter. Six of us squeezed in there. As you can see a couple of tables. There's a fire pit, which obviously nobody used. Um, and then on up the hill here, that's the privy up there. So I did not take a picture of my food bag hanging. I should have. Took me about five tries to get it up over the branch, but I finally made it. Well, I'm left Muskrat Creek Shelter. Definitely going to make it to Standing Indian Shelter, which is 4.7 miles away. But I'm trying hard to get to Carter Shelter. I think Carter Gap Shelter, it's called. Which is 14 miles away. Severe weather coming in. Supposed wind advisories are in effect. And the wind gusts tonight could get up to 51 miles per hour. So the preference is obviously to be in a shelter. I'd like to get miles under me and get to Carter. I really do not want to just do four miles, well, 4.7, and stop for the day. I'm starting to run low on supp supplies. This, the logistics of coordinating a box, Katie did send it out priority, and they said it would be there on Monday the 26th. Well, the hostel I was at, the box still has not arrived, and this is Wednesday, the 28th. So I just asked the lady at the hostel if she would please just return the box to sender. Uh, winding stair gap is about, I don't, know, I don't know, I can't even remember how many miles away now, but that is one of the pickup points to get into the city of Franklin, North Carolina. So I'm hoping within the next two days because uh, otherwise I'm going to be out of supplies. So I'm hoping within the next two days I'm there or I find a gap closer to me that somebody could pick me up at and get me into Franklin. But getting a little bit nervous about it. But I know I at least have enough for today and most of tomorrow. But I would not have anything for my third day. So maybe there'd be a couple other hikers who would let me have a, a meal. But if they did, that one meal would have to last me an entire day, my third day. So learn as you go. And I've definitely learned the postal service delivery. I feel let me down. You pay that kind of money for delivery of priority packages and, and it doesn't arrive. Oh, I'm still heading north trying to get up to Carter Shelter so I still have 10 miles to go. The rain pretty much is held off. Every now and then I get a little sprinkle but the winds sure do whip up now and then. Part that makes me nervous with the high winds are not knowing what trees or what branches are gonna let go and fall. I've already seen some fresh trees across the trail, some branches. So I thank you all for your prayers and keeping me safe. This is your view today. From the stop of top of Standing Indian Mountain. It's still raining and it is extremely windy. Those wind gusts are oh, definitely almost knocking me over. I continue to slowly make my way to the shelter. The rain has stopped. The winds still gust now and then. Overall, it, it really hasn't been too bad. I'm glad I chose to push on through to the Carter Gap Shelter and not stop and stay at the Standing Indian Shelter. This will provide me a better chance to have a zero day at a hotel 
and Franklin, North Carolina within the next two days. My body is looking forward to having a zero day. I am 2.4 miles from Carter Shelter. I think Carter Gap Shelter. Uh, just filled up my water bottles. Beautiful little stream here. Worked out perfect. It is raining, but it really worked out perfect for me to be able to do that. Nice, fast running, deep. Fill up my water bottles quickly. All right, this is from my tent looking out. It is so cold. The temperature has really dropped. I'm wet. There was not any room in the shelter, so I'm literally behind the shelter, hoping I made a great move because the shelter is actually blocking the wind for me. But I just, I am so cold. It is a chilly morning out there. Only about 18 degrees. Once again, I do not want to get out of my sleeping bag to change. And my shoes are frozen because of all the rain yesterday and the cold temperatures. Last night, my sneakers have frozen. This is a view from atop the first break after leaving Carter Gap Shelter this morning. I had a really rough start with everything wet from the pouring rain once I got into camp, and then everything froze overnight. It was a rough start to the morning. I, uh, the sun has come out now. Things are starting to warm up a bit. I was looking to see about over there somewhere a gold mine or a mining entrance. But I'm just not sure I'm seeing it anywhere. Oh, maybe right down. Yeah, that right there. Oh, there's coal mining, I'm not sure, but looks like a mining entrance. I'm trying to make my way to Winding Stair Gap from Carter Shelter, uh, which is 15.9 miles. Haven't done that many miles before. Not sure I'm going to, but that's where I'm supposed to be getting picked up to be taken into the city of Franklin to a hotel where I will stay at a hotel tonight and tomorrow. Um, I haven't taken a zero yet, so I'm going to go in and do absolutely no hiking tomorrow. Um, but I'm hoping I can get there. Uh, it's been a little bit since I left, and I still have 13.4 miles to go. I can't seem to get my legs working today. Maybe they're still frozen? I don't know. But I just can't seem to get them working. This big open rubbed raw area on my left hip. I wrapped an ace wrap around it and uh, it's just not working. So I'm praying I can make it. If not, I don't know, I just have to push through a night hike. That's all there is to it. But I have three 5,000 foot elevation peaks to go over before I'm a little more than halfway to my destination of Winding Stair Gap. Right now this part is fairly nice. It's a little uphill, slight uphill, but the uh, terrain is very nice and smooth under the feet. So here I go, hoping I make it. Slowly making our way up to Albert Mountain, 5,200 and some odd feet. Extremely slow going. Two reasons. One, elevation really bothers me, so I have a hard time breathing. I get really uh, like sleepy, lethargic feeling. Two, the path. <laughs> We're definitely doing a lot of climbing over rocks, and this area is very nice. But we're slowly making our way up there. There's a huge, I don't know if it's a fire observation tower at the top, but, and at that point we will be like at the 100 mile mark, and man are we earning that today, really earning it. Oh, 
1.5 miles from the top of Velbert Mountain, which will mark just about mile 100. And I'm hoping I can zoom in and it'll stay focused to show you. That's the tower at the top of it. An 800 foot gain in about half a mile. This is just an example of what we're going up the next four tenths of a mile. I do have stairs in here. Sometimes those are harder to do than just walking up the trail. There's no doubt when you have a day that's been filled with stairs, your quads feel it the next day. Whew. It's starting to get pretty warm. I have a couple layers on because it was chilly for a bit, but now I'm getting warm. But that's where going up and up. Well, I climb all the way up here to find out the top of the fire tower is closed. I can't get all the way up to the top. But I can give you some pictures of the view from up here. Oh, my body is not happy with me right now. Still on top of the fire watchtower. My phone doesn't seem to want to zoom into it, but way up there is the fire tower on the top of Wilea Bald, the man was saying. Pretty little stream crossing right there. Wasn't too bad. 3.6 miles to go to Rock Gap. I will not make it to Winding Stair Gap like I thought I would. Uh, I'm just going to run out of daylight. This raw open area on my left hip from the backpack has become really really painful so I'm getting off at the first area I could get a ride from to get me into the city of Franklin North Carolina I have to find something to put over all of this I have square padded rectangular I'm sorry rectangular padded band-aids on it and I have an ace wrap around it and right now nothing seems to be helping so going to take a couple down days in Franklin and see what uh, I can get done. Don is driving down with a resupply box since we can't seem to rely on the postal service to get things on time when you pay for priority. So he's driving one down to me and I'll have time to take a look at what's ahead of me and see what logistics we can work on. So the next package would get there in time. But it hasn't been too bad since leaving, what is it, Mount Alexander, where the fire watchtower was. Um, pretty much smooth trails, no rock climbing, any of that. Uh, but it's uh, the pain of the backpack continuously rubbing in that one area. I've even put a little padding from, like, stuck my glove under that portion of the backpack uh, pocket to help pad it some. So, we'll see what the future holds here. What I've got to do to help that go away. But it's been another beautiful day. Um, 
again trying to hurry along to get down until we'll get picked up in Franklin or to go into Franklin. The weather tonight is supposed to drop down to a rain wintry mix. So this would be a good night to get off the trail and be in town. Coming into our destination for the evening, on trail anyway, which is Rock Gap. Uh, so we should have a uh, driver up here waiting on us. His name is Henry. Uh, giving us a ride into Franklin. I can barely move. I am so sore. I'm going to have to take at least two days down. That's all there is to it.